Woo! That's it. Three, two, one, bro. What's up, everybody? My name is Nick Murphy. I'm one half of the Buzz Murph, and this is Metagame Minute. Metagame Minute is a weekly segment where Mike or I talk about anything we want to talk about in the gaming world today. Can I say that faster? Probably, actually. Um, we talk very fast here at the Brothers Murph. But nonetheless, today we're going to talk about, this is kind of like a an offshoot of a Metagame Minute that Mike did a couple weeks ago where he was talking about fixing games that you didn't know uh, were broken essentially. He talked about like games where the games are good, but they had something that you didn't really realize was kind of like broken until you got something to fix it. And he talked about wingspan with like the kind of egg strategy where people go like super, super heavy eggs and it just kind of feels broken. But then they came out with the Ocean expansion and it really kind of fixed that strategy and, and kind of, uh, in his opinion, fixed the game. And I, I more or less agree. I think it's. Uh, Ultimately, we're great both ways, but now it's much, much better. So I want to talk about uh, expansions that I would consider that complete games. Don't necessarily fix them, but complete them. And I do personally think those are two distinctly different things. So a game that's broken that gets fixed with an expansion is something that did not work, that just did not work, and this comes in and remedies that. Something that completes a game, in my opinion, is something where the game is fine, but just feels like, Ah, something's missing, something's missing, and this comes in and goes right there, and then kind of boom, all of a sudden, oh, that's what was missing. It's this whole kind of thing, and those, in my opinion, are different. And so I want to talk about um, expansions that, in my opinion, complete their games. The first example of this is something we've talked about a lot, and that is Shakespeare. Shakespeare is a really wonderful action selection worker placement game where you are putting on a play, trying to have the best play out there, and the queen will come and see your play. It's really, really cool, really pretty, really awesome, very, very tight game. Very hard, very tight game. And this is a game that we've always really, really loved. From the moment we heard about it, we are like, yep, getting that, it's wonderful. And it really was great. And it's one of those things where we're kind of like, ah, something's, it's, it's very, very difficult. Something's kind of missing. And then we heard about the, the backstage expansion, which is a very, very small expansion, but it really completes the game. Because in this game, you are bidding for actions. You have five discs, which are your actions, and you will bid how many actions you're gonna do. Whoever chooses, whoever bids the least amount of actions, they get to go first. And going first in this game is a big deal because resources are very, very limited. So, you want to bid low because then you get to go first. But the thing is you bid low, then you have a lot less actions to do. And so it, it's kind of this really hard back and forth that I do enjoy, but it's just, it, it's whenever you bid like two so you can go first or God forbid even bidding one so you can really go first, you're only doing one thing and you just kind of waste all those other actions, which works fine. And I do still really like the game that way, but just always kind of like, ah, oh, man. Then the backstage expansion came out. What that is, is now you have all these different cards out in the backstage and all the uh, actions you did not bid with for the main actions, you then can use in the backstage. And oh my gosh, it takes a great game and makes it extraordinary in my opinion. I love Shakespeare, but that, that backstage expansion really completes the game. It felt like this is working, this is working, but ah, something's missing, something's missing. And this came in, we're like, that's what was missing. That's what was missing. This makes bidding low much more of a viable strategy. And bidding low, it, it makes it work better and it makes the whole thing more compelling. So that's something where I would consider that fixes the game. I don't think the game was broken. I just think it was kind of missing something and this kind of filled that gap. The other game I want to talk about is a game we don't have anymore, but it's a game I really like, and that is a game called Champions of Midgard, and the expansion is the Valhalla expansion. This is an expansion that most people, uh, not to say most, but a lot of people consider to be an essential expansion. I personally don't really think essential expansions exist. It's a whole debate. There'll be a card up here you can follow to um, <laughs> learn about Mike and I debating about that concept. But nonetheless, um, this is a, a, a game where you're Vikings and you're collecting resources, you're going out, you're fighting these monsters, and you're doing that through these warrior dice. You have like swords people, and you have like spearmen, you have like axemen, all this kind of stuff, and you're rolling them out. But they can die 
while they're out fighting these monsters, which makes total sense. And then you lose those dice and like, oh, that kind of sucks, whatever. So what the Valhalla expansion does is now there's this whole area, it's Valhalla. And when your, your warriors die, you get a chit that represents what kind of warrior they were, a swordman, an axeman, that kind of stuff. And you then get to spend those chips in Valhalla. And you can then get like berserkers, which come from Valhalla, which are really strong warriors. You can do all these different things. You can get like shield maidens, which are really, really cool. They have like shields and attack. It's really awesome. And you can now do stuff with those dead warriors, which makes sense in that theme of that game. You're like, yeah, it's Valhalla. Like, why wouldn't you then be able to go to Valhalla? It makes sense. And so it, it just, it takes a game that I really, really liked that I think worked really, really well and just took a thing. You're like, oh man, it's kind of tough when you go out here and you roll and you, you fight the monster and win even, but then man, you kind of got to start over again because you have to go get some more, um, you have to get some more warriors back. But yeah, it really just completes that game. It really takes the whole thing and goes like, oh yeah, now this is full circle. Now going out and killing your warriors sometimes is a really good thing because there's also big baddies you can fight in Valhalla. So you really need to go out there and have these people die so you can use them in Valhalla, which is super, super cool. So it just opens up the game more, it makes it so much like, yes, now I can really do whatever I want. And it worked well and it worked fine. And I really enjoyed it. But now I'm like this works perfectly and I never ever want to play Champions Midgard without Valhalla again because it's just, it's outstanding and it really, in my opinion, completes that game. So those are two examples of, of expansions that, in my opinion, complete their games. Again, I don't think they fix the games. They just kind of fill in the gaps where stuff was missing, which, again, personally, I personally think are two different things. But let down in the comments below. Let me know if you have any expansions or any versions of games or anything like that where you think like, oh, this, this completes this. This made this a full circle. This made this what was a 90% a game into like 100% a game. So put those down in the comments below. And until next time, I've been Nick Murphy. This is Meta Game Minute. And whether expansion completes a game or ruins it forever, remember the more meta, the more meta. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you want to check out Mike's Meta Game Minute from last week, check out that video right there. And that video down there is going to be something YouTube thinks you'll like, which is crazy. They don't know you, Jenny, Jim. Jaipur is a good game. I was trying to think of another J name. Couldn't think of it. Dray Troll. Subscribe.